we are going to coffee and coconut. Inside, the interior looks amazing. So hopefully the food is just as good, if not better. I'm so hungry. Very hungry. housed across three floors, what used to be a cinema back in the 1920s. The place is light and airy, and there's a real relaxing buzz inside. Definitely somewhere where you can just soak in the atmosphere and get lost in the environment. This was the roasted mushroom sandwich. The thick cut sourdough bread was hard and crusty on the outside, but really soft on the inside. The green pea hummus looks like smashed avocado, but it was much more grainy in texture. The mushrooms were very meaty and added an earthy taste, while the pomegranate seeds gave little bursts of juicy freshness. I've ordered the full CT, which is kind of like a full works. It literally has a little bit of everything. So you've got scramble egg and avocado on toast, house-made granola with yogurt, a small little coconut pancake, and a small bowl of fresh fruit. I really enjoyed this. There were so many elements to it, it was like a little buffet. If you can't decide what to get from the menu, then this is the one to go for. On the toast, you had a bit of crumbled feta and olives, which contrasted against each other. Then you had the cool, refreshing taste of fresh fruit and yogurt and granola, and there was a coconutty flavour from the pancake, which I'd eaten up by that point. This is why you need to come early. Now there's a massive queue. Here we've ordered our third course of brioche French toast with mixed berries, sour cream, and toasted almond flakes. It looks delicious. I'm ready to devour it. Coffee's coming to you. The French toast was soft with a slight crispiness on the outside. The different berries kept it light and refreshing. And the cranberries gave little bursts of sourness. The toasted almond flakes also worked really well, giving a smoky savouriness to the dish. It was so moorish and delicious, I wish I had one to myself. Coffee and Coconuts is a highly recommended food spot. It has a laid-back atmosphere with some quirky personality, but the food is seriously good.